Um, Thank you. Uh, the few short things are, are going to be quick. Um, uh, the first thing is that um, Claire actually and myself um, attended a meeting in Ruski uh, in relation to forestry, where the ESB wires are constantly the town. There's a town and an area in Ruski, Kitlas, um, all that area where there is um, outages and it's coming from trees falling. Obviously, we're not blaming the trees or anything, uh, <laughs> but the problem is that. Um, there isn't the proper setback distances from ESB wires. And as the incoming chair, would you get involved and give an undertaking? Because families right around, say, with vulnerable children, elderly people have been left uh, actually a week at one stage without electricity. And would you just um, get in fear that we get a situation where Quilsha has it laid down on their policy document that they'd set back 30 metres either side of wires, the way that we do not have this, because a tree will grow to 75 or 80 foot. And obviously a spruce tree has not the root of some of the other trees that should be grown. Do you understand me? Um, and that needs to be done. This has to be done, be it in the private side and in the public side. Mm -hmm. You know, this isn't the thing that we can yeah. be... You can't have the ESB constantly having to be fixing wires because of that. And that's yeah. one thing I would ask you to do to take up uh, as your role. The second thing, um, the pressure on land, uh, Quilch are using investment funds, uh, buying land, it's sort of behind the door. The investment fund is buying it to come into their ownership after a while. Farmers in the middle, we have a problem in different parts of the country, we're nearly having a landlord Ireland coming back again. And we need, uh, Quilch needs to work with farmers in communities if they need the land that they would uh, not be basically bulldozing in on top of small farmers. Um, there needs to be something uh, done on that. The, th the other thing, I just want to mention one thing. In fairness to Quilsha, um, and especially in my area or in the west of Ireland, I would have dealt with you know, the local people in the line of, say, where you'd be doing a, 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 a walk on, an area for walking through the woods, and they have been excellent. Right? And... Uh, I know that Paul Rowan and, and Declan Garvey and, and all those guys in our in that area, um, if there's a problem or if the, something needs sort, they work with the community. Mm -hmm. I think that has to be said. Mm -hmm. But funnily enough, up higher in Quilsha, there seems to be a bit of a deafness in um, making sure that you, you 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 know that the policy and working with people is sorted. The the other thing, and and the chair brought it up there, um, is you know. Many years ago here, we brought in Quilcha in relation to the farm partnerships. And it has been a problem. There has been a lot of, I'm not, you know, there's, there has been a lot of promises made in here over the years about sorting this. And between mediation and between legal letters and between everything, there's a lot of people still not sorted. And... Whatever has to be done to cut to the chase and make sure that that's resolved, that needs to be done. And my final point is that you're committing, and you like culture came in here telling us the lovely story how they were committing to X amount of where they had pine up on the on peatland, and you talked about it earlier. The reality is their first application in Connemara has been turned down by Galway County Council because it's an SAC. And you had 250 or 300 hectares that the trees are growing on, but now they're being refused that they can cut them even though it's a peachy area. And that's the Habit Has Directive. So how do you, how do you reckon you'll get to this figure? Um, and bear in mind that you're saying that you'll increase output or increase planting. You're going to decrease the areas if, you're, if you get the go-ahead. How do you square that circle? Okay, um, the first thing is on the trees falling on electric wires. Um, I will raise that when, when, I, Thank you. when I go into... Just uh, if, you, if you just, especially that area, first of all, and then countrywide to be a policy, yeah. but on that area, the Clare myself for at, in, it, it covers Ruski, it covers Kilas, it covers 
uh, down nearly to Strokestown, you could say, all that area, mm. and there is a big problem there. But that's, this will fester in other places. Yeah, no, and it's I, not alone ye. We're not saying it's, that, oh, you're, yeah, yeah. that there is private forestry as well, and this will have to be a policy that I believe that the department will have to bring in. Yeah, I'll, I shall But thank you that for when, saying that you will get I looking will, at it. When, when I actually get into to mm. talk to the, them and, and talk to the board. I mean, there is pressure on land. There's pressure mm. because the goal is be, ha, is to increase forestry quite quite dramatically. Now, Quilch mm. cannot do it on its own. Mm. It, there has to be some you know other avenues that are going to uh, increase the, the the tree planting in Ireland. Um, both if we want it for wood for construction and if we want it for climate and biodiversity and for recreation, all of those things have to be balanced. But we will need land. Um, and we will ha we'll have to buy land, but we'll have to buy it in a responsible way. Um, but there, you know, the price of land is going up, um, so the cost of doing all that is is quite extensive. Never mind, you know, getting the trees and planting the trees. Um, you get a grant for that now, won't you? We we the no not yeah. not Quilch directly. Yeah. Um, there is some talk about some Are changes. Are you getting an establishment grant regardless? Establishment grant. Mm. Okay. You get an establishment grant, but the premium per year is what's up for debate, and my understanding is which is going to get you wouldn't have written it. Well, I understand that there is a debate going yeah. on at the moment. But on, on the establishment, they always got it. Oh, okay, fine. I, uh, that's something I have not heard of yeah, so far. Okay. I shall. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But I'm just making her aware. That's fine. Yeah, no, no, that's, no, that's absolutely that fine. I'll, I'll educate myself on that. Yeah. Um, I'm glad that you find you've heard that the forest walks are yeah, are excellent. Uh, I mean, I use them myself, and mm. and I think there's that the guys awesome. that work in Quilcha are very helpful. Yeah. The guys that we've liaised with, I must compliment them in the west of Ireland. Good, good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Um, on the far, farm partnerships, I have, have covered that uh, already there, but I, I'll repeat it for, for you because you weren't here at the time. Um, we have had a series of historical uh, arrangements with, with farmers um, where we plant the land and mm. in return for planting... Yeah, I know it, yeah, yeah. You know it? OK, well, you know that. Now, there are over 600... Um, cases of this, mm. the vast majority, and by that I mean a tiny, tiny percentage of them, are um, unhappy with with what's going on. Uh, um, so we will have to sort that out, and I'm hoping that it'll be sorted out in as amicable a way as, as possible. I do not want it to go to arbitration. It's a very expensive process if we could get... We could encourage the people, the small number, it's only a handful really, two handfuls maybe, um, of people who are, are who are concerned about things. If we could get an agreement that we could go to mediation, that I think would be um, really ad advantageous. Um, we, Quilcha have, have made me aware of this problem and they have, over the years, they have put in place much better uh, arrangements for engaging with with any of the we've now have a dedicated unit that you know will answer any questions that people have will be prepared to meet the meet the farm farmers uh, and talk them through it uh, and they all have a dedicated person that they can actually call so I'm hoping that that will improve and that the 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 few that are um, that, that we do, there is a dispute with, or they're disputing with us, that we can resolve that as quickly as possible. Um, just on the Derry Clare thing, obviously I read about that um, mm. recently, and it is, it is a big disappointment to mm. us, and we will have to take uh, a look at what what um, what, has, what what we can do with it. The, as I understand it, the foresters. Uh, did you know a, a huge amount of analysis of the various of the the land and came up based on the science and the nature of the land that was covered by that did a plan in terms of identifying what they could do with the various pieces which wasn't the same for the whole whole of of the Derry Derry Clare uh, area 
it was very depending on what the nature of the land was and what we could do. Um, so it's disappointing to us. We're going to have to take a good look at it and see, you know, can we engage with the local, the county councils, because this is potentially something that could come up with other county councils, because mm. they're the ones that, that take a look at these planning applications, um, and there we need to get the proper authority to, to move forward with it. Um, they felt it was a very good plan in terms of um, you know, the fact that there's some forest there and they would be removing them because it's on peatland and, and that they would have a variety of uh, ways in which they could um, use the land more effectively. Yes, and one, la one last thing, uh, and I forgot to mention it, um, the flow of water where land is planted, there might be a drain or a river running through that would be taking water from the farmer beside it. And those drains are not maintained by culture over the years. So then you have a backlog. So look at it. Obviously, where you have trees growing, you have scrub going in, and you'll have weeds, mm -hmm. and you'll have grass growing. And and in some cases, there's rivers. And then if they don't plant a bit out from it, a digger can just go up along and, and clean it. Mm -hmm. And I would ask you to make sure, and while you're in his designate chair, that, uh, our chair, that you would bring that to their attention, that there'd be a policy on that as well. The way it makes a working relationship between the farming community and Quilsha, that um, it doesn't leave us, that there's a battle going on of a drain there, a river yeah, not no, clean for years, and you don't know who you're going to or whatever, that's a problem. Yeah, I mean, we should have um, a collaborative arrangement yeah. with with uh, with the farmers and mm. and with the local communities mm. uh, and anybody any of the stakeholders uh, around our land. We have been trying. We particularly when we came up with the the new forestry strategy, we did engage with lots of people mm. uh, and the general public and when we, when they were doing that. So well, I appreciate if you do that. I want to thank you for your time and wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much indeed. Thank.